These are the Rutlands. They're visiting us from North Carolina and uh, staying on Ladies Island. And I um, understand you grew up here? Yes. Up, can you say what? On Ladies Island, San Juan Well, welcome back. Um, they called, Mr. Rutland called me this morning and said they had caught something and it was one of those, what in the world is this thing? <laughs> and he described, and it turns out it is a mantis shrimp. And we don't have a mantis shrimp at present here at the estuarium. And so um, Mr. Rutland uh, brought it by, and we're going. it's going to be moving into this tank right here that is right now is occupied by the long-wristed hermit crab. And the hermit crab will be moving back into the lab for a time, and uh, we'll be featuring our uh, mantis shrimp. AKA thumb splitter. Uh, you were rather careful in handling him after I told you that. Yeah, I haven't you? touched it. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to dump it out to show it to me really good, and I said, no, you can just leave it out. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're, I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to um, our bucket here, and then I'll get the tank set up, and you'll see what this critter looks like, and uh, the Rutlands will be able to uh, tune in. Catch our one of our videos and uh, see also. So, want to thank you all for, for bringing you. this by, and uh, people are going to enjoy it. Here we see the striped hermit before he's moved. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, mantis shrimp down in the bucket. And there it is, about five inches in length. I neglected to mention the date earlier. It is now the evening of Tuesday, July 17th, 2012. And the striped hermit has moved into his new lodging in the wet lab. And here we have the mantis shrimp, a.k.a. thumb splitter. You will observe the rather elaborate antennae of this animal. You will also see right there how the claw arms are folded up against the body. Uh, that's what does the damage if you mishandle this animal. They strike out with those and uh, if they hit your finger or thumb they can split them open. They were so named thumb splitter by shrimpers who mishandle these guys. They come up in the shrimp nets, both uh, on the commercial shrimpers shrimping offshore. They're also found in the estuary. And we can observe the swimmerettes underneath the tail moving slightly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this animal to move around a little bit and we'll see if we can keep up. Uh, oh, did you see? <laughs> That's moving. They use their swimmerettes underneath the tail and also they can flip their tail as regular shrimp do or as the type of shrimp that we eat do, they can flip their tail and shoot backwards. Another way this animal can hurt you is if you look closely on the tail itself, those are very sharp spikes. Very sharp spikes. So we've got, we've got images of this animal now moving around. <clears throat> And uh, at a later date, once it's settled in, we'll try, <clears throat> try feeding this animal and do some more observations. So that's it for now. <laughs>